what is going on radar force um today we have another product review uh, this is episode three i believe and today i am going over the walmart double packs uh as you can see that includes seasons one and two three and four five and six and seven and eight of dbz that includes season one and two the complete series of dragon ball gt and part one and two three and four which i messed up right here and a 5 and 6 of Kai. They did not release a 7 and 8 of Kai for some whatever reason. But they did not. Uh, also not included in this video. And I'm not sure if it is a Walmart exclusive. But there is another Dragon Ball GT complete series. Which is a foldable book. Not sure if that's Walmart. So I decided not to include it in here. But uh, it very well may be a Walmart release. That's one thing I never knew about that set. But I will show pictures of it just... So it can be included in this video. Sadly, I do not have it on me in pre-recording. I wish I did because now I might have to update this video, but it's fine. It's very fine. Uh, but anyways, let's get right into it and I'll show you seasons one and two and we'll go through the list. Okay, so so season one and two of Dragon Ball Z. Uh, this is obviously a two pack. It comes with a slip cover and the uh, two seasons inside. But this is a custom slip cover. From Walmart only. Uh, the backs are slightly different than the original seasons because they have to, comp you know, they have to change the text and all that. Nothing too different about it except the fact that it's just a slipcover. Uh, now, one cool thing to note about seasons one and two, I mean one and one through four, uh, which I'll get after I finish explaining. Uh, after I finish showing this one, we'll get into it. Uh, here's season three and four. It, like I said, it contains the same seasons uh, as the original Orange Bricks. There's nothing different. Just a uh, new slipcover, UPC, and your FN number on the side right here, which has corresponds to your UPC code. On the back and the side. Now, what's cool about season one through four here. Okay, so what's weird about seasons one through four is originally these things, and I'm going to guess, were released maybe eight years ago originally, okay? Uh, in the past two or three years, uh, they re-released seasons one and two, and three and four. And when they re-released them, I don't know. It's kind of around the time where they did the thirtieth thirtieth anniversary, like uh, slipcover, uh, new new slipcover art for the original seasons. About the same time, these begin showing on stores, uh, and so they re-released them. Same UPC, same thing, except obviously with the new prints. They didn't. They don't. They they don't come with the uh, inserts inside. Now the old ones do. These are actually the new prints. That I, I didn't decide to get these until like a year ago, and I picked them up in store for for really cheap. But uh, seasons five and six and seven and eight, uh, they never reprinted those. So these are pretty hard to come by. Uh, seasons five and six were released along with the other ones back about eight years ago. These actually come with the original inserts. Uh, but but yeah. Uh, these are the same thing as the other ones, except they were definitely not reprinted along with the other ones for some whatever reason. Only seasons one through four were. Um, so that five and six is pretty tough to come by. Probably not the hardest. The hardest one is probably seven and eight. So, uh, but yeah, same same thing. They come with the same original seasons with the inserts though, unless of course the person you got them from lost them. Uh, season seven and eight is probably the hardest to get out of all of these, but. That is up to you to decide. Uh, it was for me, in, at least in this case. Uh, like I said, same thing as the other ones. Uh, this is an old one. Came with the original inserts. Comes with the uh, normal orange brick seasons. Uh, but like I said, just a slip cover is new on that one. Uh, and now for GTO, oh, and I also failed to mention this earlier. Uh, also, th they re released the Dragon Ball GT one along with seasons one and two, three and four of Z. These, this is also reproduced as well because uh, these you can find in Walmart probably right now, actually. And uh, they also do not come with the inserts. Uh, but yeah, like I said, same thing as the other ones, just a different slip cover. But it contains seasons one and two in there. Real quick, um, I forgot to mention this one set, which is the Dragon Ball GT, the complete series, with the what I call the booklet edition. Uh, and I believe this is a Walmart one. Someone please correct me because this is one thing 
that I'm not sure about. Uh, it's just like the uh, other complete series, except this one is it's slightly thinner. Uh, one of my personal favorites about it is it actually completes the spine in one solid picture, uh, but it's it's thinner than the other two combined uh, by a by a great deal. And I will show you that real quick. So compared to the counterpart of the uh, slipcover edition with the two seasons, uh, you can see the difference here. And you know what? Just for just for kicks and giggles here, let's just show the spine art side by side. Um, I wish they did make a box set that, like the FYE box sets for the 30th anniversary. See, it's different. It's not the same thing, but basically it's the same thing. The text is smaller and the dragon smaller, but different sizes. Enough of that. Let's just show you what the booklet looks like. I also, ooh, I also do enjoy the slipcover. And this artwork right here is exclusive to this set only. I love that. And I believe the front's the same. Yeah, the front's the same. But it is a booklet, which I do adore. And also, this set was released back in the day when they released the booklet inserts because it, it comes with those. But you have seasons one, seasons one through five, I believe. Maybe six. And then season two, one through four, I believe. And then, oh no, the one through five and the movie. But it also comes with the two booklets. Super awesome set. I don't know how rare this is, but I had it a long time now. So, yeah. And that, that, and that, that's the booklet edition. And sorry, this was not into the, uh, sorry, this was not in the thumbnail because I forgot about it. I had to go pick it up and reshoot this just for the video because I did not want to be missing it in this video because then I have to make another one updating it and you know we're not we're being we're being efficient anyways back to the video and now for the uh first probably the next hardest things to get I'm not sure how rare these are now but they were somewhat difficult for me about three four years ago since I got these uh that is Dragon Ball Z Kai part one and two uh and these are exactly the same stuff as the, the original parts it just comes with all four of the DVD casings inside of the original uh, DVDs so nothing too special about that it's just just uh, uh, a new slipcover like I said but unfortunately they did not uh, create uh, part 7 and 8 which really is a bummer because you know Kai only has 8 parts not including the final chapters here is part 3 and 4 Nothing much to say about these except they're just freaking awesome. Like, who doesn't think Kai... I love the Kai DVD sets. They're awesome. And last but not least, we have uh, 5 and 6. Probably my favorite of the 3 in the Kai. If, I'm, if they've released a 7 and 8, that'd probably be my favorite. Because the artwork on Part 8 is just beautiful. And the front. And like I said... That's it, and like I said, the, the probably the rarest ones to find, and I'm just gonna guess because I haven't had to buy these in a long time, is uh, five and six and seven and eight. But yeah, that's it for the Walmart uh, two packs, is what I'm gonna call them. Um, so if you guys enjoyed this video, have any questions, leave comments below, and uh, subscribe for more product reviews. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.